Hi everyone, in the last video we looked at setting up a simple car. In this video we're going to be looking at the tuning of things like transmission and engine. Uh, so one, one thing that I did uh, was I actually took the ground from the previous uh, video and I changed it to a BSP with 400,000 by 400,000 size. Uh, the reason I did this is just so that we can drive for a very long time without having to fall off. Uh, and then I put the, the player start at minus 200,000 on the Y. So here we go. Uh, one really useful command is show debug vehicle. vehicle. Uh, so with this command you can see a whole bunch of information. Uh, for this video specifically we're, we're going to be looking at the speed, the uh, RPM, and the gear, and I guess also some of the drag. So you can see that as I start going forward my speed starts going up. Uh, you can see that I'm in third gear, fourth gear, uh, now I'm in fifth gear, and now we're just going to wait until I hit the max RPM for this car, which is, I think it's like around 5600 or something like that. Yeah, okay, so we've hit the max RPM, and you can see now the car is still accelerating a little bit, but we're going we're gonna to plateau pretty soon here. So uh, this, this seems to be about the, the top speed. So let's, uh, let's look at how to make that higher. Uh, so to do that, uh, you want to bring up your car, and you can search for engine, uh, and the first thing you can change is, is your max RPM. So why don't we make this like 7,500, and let's see what it does. So uh, also one thing is if you entered a, a debug command before, now if you just use show debug, it'll actually bring it up. You don't have to do show debug vehicle. Anyway, so now uh, I'm going forward, so we can see we're in third, fourth, and we'll get to fifth. And one thing that you can you can see is that as I'm getting faster, the the RPM is actually uh, climbing a little bit slower. This is because of the the way the drag is being applied against the car. Uh, so we're at 7500 and now you can see I'm, I'm at like 192 which is significantly faster so just as a quick note if you want to go faster faster top speed uh, change your your max rpm another thing that you can change is your your drag uh, if, if you reduce that it will actually increase both your top speed and your acceleration um, so speaking of acceleration wh why don't we change that so you can see here we have this torque curve uh, which basically just says, okay, for for the different RPMs, like if I'm at zero RPM, I'll have uh, four, 400 uh, torque. If I'm at uh, 1890, then I'm going to have 500 torque. And uh, back at uh, 5700, which was the previous max, uh, I'll go down to 400. Uh, this torque curve can be as complex as you want. Uh, I'm just going to keep it really simple, but we changed our, our RPM. Uh, to 7500 I believe so uh, I'm just gonna make this this big set and I'm gonna add another value in here uh, I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll put this at like 600 and we'll put this at 700 so now uh, we'll get much more torque than we were getting before and uh, applying torque or getting more torque is just gonna give you uh, faster acceleration and it's also going to give you a little bit of uh, faster top speed because the actual total power of the car is going to be higher. So, uh, but but the gist of it really is just the more torque you have, the the faster your acceleration is going to be. So this shouldn't really affect my top speed uh, too much. Uh, as you can see, I'm already slowing down a little bit, and I'm at the max RPM, going to 182, going a little bit higher, but. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, so that's all I really want to cover. Uh, I will show you a few other things just so that you can see that there's a lot more that you can you can change for these. Uh, so one of them is is the gears. So one thing you may have noticed is while I was driving, I was actually spending quite a bit of time uh, in the lower RPMs. And if if you want your car to go very fast, that might not be uh, the best thing to do, especially when you consider the the torque curves. So over here in the automatic transmission, we can actually change how we're going to shift. So uh, this value here tells you, okay, if I'm if my current RPM is uh, more than 65% of my max RPM, then go ahead and, and gear up. So I'll just change this to 0.85. Uh, and what'll happen is it'll take a little bit longer to 
gear up, but in theory we'll be getting more torque. I mean, this all depends on your, your torque curve, which is a little bit more advanced than I want to get into, but uh, it's just good to know that you can change all of this stuff. And uh, like another thing we can change is the gear switch time, so you know, we can make this 0.15 and that'll, that'll make it so that we switch gears a little bit faster. Uh, so some other values to look at here are if you search for uh, engine, you can see we have these three values uh, which are, uh, it's not very clear, but these are all related to the amount of, of uh, speed that you lose when you go from the crankshaft to the tires. Again, I'm not really going to go into this too much, but uh, if, if you want to learn more about it, uh, there's, there's information out there, but this is just telling you the, the amount of power that you're losing. So, for example, if, if I make this like 0.05, uh, we're going to get more power from the engine into the actual tires. And these two values uh, just specify the difference between when you're, when you're clutching. But anyway, that's, that's already getting much more advanced than I would like it to be, so uh, I'll just leave it off with, with this. So now you can see when I'm accelerating, uh, it's actually taking a little bit longer before I change from third to fourth. I'm in like the 6500 range. Uh, so again, it's not going to change my top speed or anything, but it will change my acceleration. Uh, and I realize that like a lot of this is not very useful if you're making a more arcade type game, but these are all things that you can tune to get different types of effects. So uh, hopefully that answers some of your questions. Let me know if uh, you're, you're still missing some stuff. Uh, in the next video, we're going to cover the actual handling of the tires and the different uh, friction coefficients in the tire, so stay tuned for that.